Hi, Al here with a quick update with respect to the latest versions of my Google Meet attendance extension. Once, once again, just to quickly remind you, mine's the one with the green check mark that uh, for its icon in the address bar at the top of your Chrome or Firefox window. Um, please also make sure that you have the Grid View Fix extension um, installed as well. It's the one that has the green square icon. Uh, as opposed to the black icons. In version 9.0.1 now, actually, um, there's uh, a number of bug fixes. In particular, I fixed uh, just fixed a CSS error that was causing names to be hidden in 0 0.9.0. I'm really sorry about that. Um, I also fixed the error that was uh, manifesting itself when you were presenting. The students were not being uh, marked present, and so that's been fixed. Uh, there was another issue with names if they were entered in last name, comma, first name. That uh, caused some grief. And also there was an oddball kind of scenario that you could perhaps end up with a negative meeting length. And so, so that's been fixed. So all of those are, are good news. I apologize for any sort of grief or errors that may have uh, resulted as a consequence of them, in particular with respect to the hidden names. Um, but there's a couple new features in 0 0.9.0 and moving forward. Um, so here's my class list. Everything there is exactly the same. You can either go with the generic class list or you can add your own. I'm just going to use the generic list right now. Uh, notice that this student has uh, information in square brackets behind it. And then down below, uh, my name has in information in round brackets. Uh, the square brackets, any text inside square brackets will now be ignored. Uh, and the reason for that is uh, some school boards I've seen have appended um, student to the end of uh, any of the students who are logging to their, uh, to their meets. And I think it's teacher is appended to the name of the, uh, uh, the teacher when they uh, join the meet. And that's not really uh, important information in, in many respects, but it, uh, it does really impact uh, the ability to sort by last name. Uh, based on my current last name algorithm. And so uh, so I basically just ignore all of that text right now. Where things get a little bit more interesting is when we have text in round parentheses. So here we have my name. And uh, and so what this basically allows you to do, I'm calling it alias the uh, the name, so that when, my, when I log in, I will appear as Alan Cahey. But in the HTML reports, I will now be displayed as Mr. Cahey. And then down below here, I've got my student, Elizabeth Smith, but she prefers to be known as Betty Smith. So when she connects, she will be Elizabeth, but she will get presented as um, uh, as Betty. The uh, Those are sort of two simple implementations of it. There's an awful lot more that can be done here. Uh, I would urge you to be a little bit cautious because this is new functionality. And so, uh, you know, uh, it may, it may, uh, it may uh, cause a little bit of grief. Uh, if it does, send me files and screenshots and, and we'll get going. So when I join my Meet, just to quickly show you how that things work. Uh, no, I don't need to add any others. Of course, I get my little startup dialog. It's going to go away in 18 seconds, but I'm going to close it now. Once again, um, I only have two students or two people going to be joining this meet, so I don't absolutely have to use the grid view fix extension. But if you have more than 16 students, you must make sure that the grid view fix with the green um, icon is installed and that it's also enabled. And then one last thing is you have to make sure that the show participants, only show participants with video is deselected. Uh, and once you've got that, then you should be in good shape. You can ignore the message about this being an unauthorized version of the extension because the original creator, author of the uh, extension, has uh, has stopped maintaining the code and uh, another group has picked it up. And so, yes, it's not an official version, but really they're saying they're just doing this until Chris comes back. And unfortunately, we haven't heard from him in about four months. So we have our meet going on. Um, I'm going to jump over to a private window here, and I'm going to join now. Notice I'm joining here as uh, Elizabeth Smith. Jump back to my meet. Someone wants to join Elizabeth Smith. I'm going to admit her. Uh, 
And when I come back to my dialogue here, now Mr. Cahey is present and also uh, Betty is present. And so we can let things sit here for a little bit. Um, the other important thing that I have added in this version of the uh, of the extension is that you can now enter notes for the class. So if something exceptional happens and you want just to have a, rec rec a record of that or some sort of thoughts, you can. Um, this is a class note. Dot dot dot. Ta da. And so we've got that information saved uh, or entered in the file. And uh, when I end my meet, if I can end my meet, there we go. My HTML file gets saved. It gets saved in my downloads directory. And there we have my class. Notice here is the note, or here are the notes that I've entered for my class. Here is the attendance. And we were only in the meet for a couple minutes, and I started working on this a little while ago, so that's why the meet start time is is back here. And uh, and there we uh, there we have it. That's uh, basically the the gist of what is new in version 0.9.x, shall we call it? If you have any questions or concerns, let me know, and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks. Bye.